What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spear, baby Kale, and I'm back with another timeless message. First off, if you don't know who I am, welcome. My name is Spear, baby Kale. Uh, I do intuitive messages with oracle cards and any other downloads and messages I get from Absolute Source. I also do Reiki, yoga, and all other types of spiritual things. So if you like that, stick around. I also have a website, insomniacdreams369.com, where you can book me for personal messages. Most of my messages on YouTube, YouTube pretty much all of them, are timeless general messages for the collective. So, you know, you catch what resonates with you there and leave the rest out. Uh, you can get a more personal message on my website. I also post products on my website that you can check out and grab some. Most of them custom, so yeah, I think you'll like them. Other than that, if you already know who I am, welcome back. What's up, y'all? I know I've been gone for a little minute, but I just been getting real life stuff handled. I've been getting stuff for the business, getting my mind together, getting my money together, just getting real life stuff together. But, you know, I always got to come back and get this together, too, because this is a big part of my life. I'm just making sure I put all the pieces in order because I got a lot of messages out there. So if y'all ain't going back and looking at my old messages, go do that. Other than that, let me like these candles and we can dive right into it. I had dressed me some candles. Is it raining? I had dressed me some candles before I started. But this finna be a deep, powerful message. A deep, powerful message. I'm going to start off by saying that. Uh, let me start off by praying. Thank you, Absolute Source. Thank you, Spirit Guys, and all the divine beings that come through in this message. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for protecting us and removing all negative energies, psychic attacks, psychic cords, attachments, etheric cords, astral cords, astral parasites, anything that's trying to negatively affect us, archons, reptilians, or anything that's trying to negatively affect us throughout all time, spaces, places, dimensions, and realms. Protect us throughout all these time, space, places, dimensions, and realms. And make sure that all messages that come from these messages for the highest good and harmony with the most benevolent outcome. Outcome. Please attune us and align us with the most divine and benevolent spirit guides and ancestors that can help guide us and give us messages that we need at this time for the highest good and harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. 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 All right, you got that out of the way. Oh, this is gonna be a powerful message. I, that's what I want to start off by saying. I got my phone right here. Cause I got like a few things I jotted down over the past couple of days. It ain't a lot. It's like literally like three lines of stuff that tie into this one reading. So I have slave run over the North Star. So all this is a line. All this is a line. And then this is the main thing. Let me not get off topic. Psychic attack. So this card right here placed in this deck 303 on the clock as i say that placed in this deck has been looking at me for the past week or so however long i've been waking up getting up handling my business i always look at this card and be like what the hell that i know that's part of the reading and let me tell you the stuff i've been going through these past couple of days let me know that this most definitely is the reading even today the little things that i've done today aligned everything up for me to finally get the message out to let child know about this type of energy but we got psychic attack right here so three 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 on the clock as i say that you are divinely supported at this time because you got a lot of people that now i feel like you stepped into this new beginning this new timeline or you're shifting into it and you got a lot of people that's trying to hold you back block you or just completely stop you from getting to your desired outcome your uh inheritance from god and just your success anything that you're looking forward to out of your future and you got faith toward you got a lot of people that psychically attacking you towards it so not only your own personal doubts self-esteem or whatever else shadow work you need to do which ultimately all these energies are helping you realize more of what you need to work on uh but not only your own shadow work you got to do you're dealing with some outside energies that are sending these type of psychic energies towards you to pretty much block you or just sending them unconsciously so you being heavily barbated with these type of energies so you got to up your protection at this time that's the main part of the message up your protection, up your prayer, find out new ways to remove these energies, transmute them, or completely block them out of your life. Figure out a way and figure out where they're coming from so you know how to deal with the people. Four, four, four on the clock, as I say that, how to deal with these people that might be doing it. Some of these people you might not even know, you know, and for that, you just pray to God about that and let him handle the risk. And other people, they unconscious about it, you pray to him about it, let him handle the risk. And the people that deliberately do it, 
doing it. Make sure you up in your protection. Do what you need to do. Return the sandals. Uh, psychic protection, banishment, whatever the case may be. It's a lot of tools you can use to remove these energies away from you so you can continue to go down this uplifting path that you're walking towards and you won't be blocked any longer. So let's dive right into it. We got psychic attack. And if y'all know I haven't dived into these in a while and these my handmade or psychic attack. We got a plane overhead so travel can be coming in. Uh, a lot of stuff. But other than the psychic attack, which is the main energy of this message you're going through psychic attack at this time so god wants you to up your protection hold up yeah so up your protection we also uh some other downloads i got which they kind of all they pretty much the same thing but they just get deeper and deeper into it we have slaves so either a you have some people that have tried to enslave you in your life hold up oh my god enslave you in <laughs> the video started playing let me mute it enslave you in your life because i'm listening to some ricky you can um you know work with ricky also yeah that was early i was gonna say that i've been listening to this um practitioner which i always been i've been listening to her for a while but i'm just letting y'all know that you can tap into risk relaxation and ricky she has a lot of videos that can help you on all different types of levels and the playlist will help you even more so you know go look into it look up her um playlist for energetic protection look up her playlist for removing negative energies and you know you can work with the record energy to help you release more of these energies but um we got slave so you have people in your life that have tried to enslave you it could be the matrix has tried to keep you a slave your own thoughts you know even ancestral energies that have tried to keep you enslaved to the mundane so you doing what everybody else is doing but you have ran away so you got slave and up under there you got run away so if you ran away you gained your independence you gained your freedom because you got freedom and independence right up under that i wrote all this down so you as a slave you have people that try to enslave you could be family friends the people around you energies that have tried to enslave you but you have gained your freedom because you ran away you've done the work release these energies and you gain your freedom and independence i also had north star so, you know, that's significant towards slavery because the slaves would, it was a saying that the slaves would follow the North Star to get to their freedom. So, you need a North Node. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is a powerful message. North Node. one knows of destiny that represents what a person is going into and the experience is needed for spiritual growth wow points to spiritual life lessons so you got people that try to keep you enslaved into your south node whatever the case may be you can look into the i didn't even think about that but you have gained your freedom and independence you became a runaway and you move toward the north star which is your north north node whatever the case may be for you figure out what your north node is and see what energies is destined for you to work with in this lifetime because your south node lower energies would be karmic energies that you had to walk away from so you can walk into this north node so you can walk towards your destiny get your independence and freedom so powerful message you've been psychically attacked because there's some people that don't want you to move into this north node energy that was crazy i didn't even know it was gonna go there but hey because i don't really i'm not gonna say i don't do astrology i try to but yeah you got north node energy coming out so working with that north node whatever the case may be i know mine is in council so that's like me going where there's working towards uh family nurturing myself and others family wise all different types of energies it's deep but yeah we got psychic attack let's dive right into the message y'all we're gonna start with my handmade oracle i ain't dealt with these in a minute let me hit them with a little incense let me like this other incense we're gonna dive right into it that's crazy y'all so you going into your north node or you're stepping fully into your north node and you got some people that's really hanging they want to keep you enslaved into that south node that lower energy and you walk toward this north node okay let's dive right into it and take half of these so i seen sacral chakra six magic and i seen uh what it was sexual healing that's what it was so 
Got some people that try to take you through your sacred chakra. Return the center times 10. So all this is being returned to center times 10. I'm through with that. I don't want to talk about these type of energies because now I'm fully aware that I'm divinely protected and that you should know that now. So this is just confirmation to anyone that needs to hear this, that how divinely protected you are. And I don't want to get into drama or miss, but the universe needs to let you hear what you need to know, 444, to get to the next stage. So you got to return to center times 10, whatever people... These people, places, situation, energies have tried to done to you, psychically attack you, is being returned to center times 10. So you got psychic attack, return to center times 10. So it, it, it can't affect you. Return to center times 10. They die right into it. Let's see what we get. Chosen. Because you are chosen. The universe has chosen you. God has chosen you. It's shining. God has chosen you. It's shining. You're chosen. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Chosen. I'm talking to a chosen person. Someone that is chosen by God, ancestors, to live out a destiny that has been chosen for you. Forgiveness. So have forgiveness for these people because they know not to do for I mean know not what they do. Forgiveness. 999 release. And you also could be seeing crows. They're signifying that you're shifting it's a death coming in it's a rebirth they're giving you messages but you also releasing a lot at this time so have forgiveness because they know not what they do you also got some religion trauma that you need to work on you got agent smith cut cords it's time for you to cut cords to some agent smith these are the people that are psychically attacking you the people that are agent smiths the people that are in the matrix whatever you want to call it i don't really like to say that but the people that are in the matrix you got lord shiva come out so working with the god of with his Lord Shiva, the God of destruction. Uh, but he is the destruction out of the Trinity because you have the creator, the preserver, and the destroyer, and he is the destroyer. So they help you release these negative energies, negative thoughts, negative energies, religion, trauma, whatever the case may be. You also got a succubus. So you got a succubus. Somebody that's a succubus that's in your energy, they also lying on you, but you divinely protected. No, no more. It's no more. Return to sender. All this is being returned to center because this is pure hatred that they are sending you and they stuck in the illusion. Period. Let me get to the next deck before it get too far right there. So we got forgiveness. So forgive these people. They know not what they do. You got Lord Shiva came out, the God of destruction, to destroy any negative energies that are negatively affecting you and help you get back into alignment, destroy illusions also. He works heavily with that third eye. So destroying any illusions that people may have been trying to place upon you, psychic attack. All these energies being returned to sender. You are releasing and stepping into a new timeline. 999. They lying on you, but that's being returned to sender. They got so much hatred towards you. These people barely even know you. They hate you because you're different. And they stuck in the illusion and you going toward the truth, which is you living a life that you truly desire. And also releasing any religion trauma. These people can be stuck in religion trauma. So you might do something that's different or that a religion might deem as demonic or just not right and you releasing that religion trauma or you have released it and other people are looking at you like you know you crazy you stuck you know what i'm saying they send a hatred because they think you on some wicked wonky demonic shit the whole time they stick in religion trauma but you divinely protected 444 divinely protected people is succubus you got a succubus in the energy too they sending these attacks but all of us being returned to center so Another sign that this message is for you, you could be seeing crows a lot. So pay attention. You could be seeing 999, you could be seeing 444. You also got outside. So you might need to go outside, spend some time outside. You got Python spirit in reverse. So these energies being reversed. These energies are being reversed. They can't they can't mess with you. It's second this could be a Python spirit. So take it how it resonates. But it's being reversed. So have forgiveness because all this is being destroyed. We got Lord Shiva there. Divinely destroying anything that is negatively affecting you. Oh, let me show y'all my shirt. Let me show you what this shirt. And I just looked at it and paid attention. I probably looked at it. It says destruction and repairs. Destruction and repairs. Obey. Crash and burn. Destruction and repairs. And that's a black panther. So, yeah. You got unexpected money coming in. Oh, oh. So, forgive these people. That's all, folks. All these energies, all this attacking you. That's over with. It's old. Let's get a couple more and dive into a new deck.
That's all, folks. We ain't got to hear about that. So expect unexpected money. It's coming in. These energies being destroyed. Um, tap, in, tap into your crown chakra. Also, inheritance. What I told you. You got, you stepping into your inheritance. What God has blessed you with. What God has promised you with. Your inheritance from your ancestors. This has been passed down to you. Stepping into it. So it's time to walk into it. You in this new beginning. Ain't no more Spirit Rebbe Kale saying, oh, we walking into this new beginning. You in the new beginning. Now it's time to... Wake up, smell that fresh air, release all those previous energies because, of course, when you're in a new beginning, previous energies going to try to come in, cast illusions, and make you feel like you're stuck in that same reality and timeline, but you're in a new beginning now. Ten on the clock as I say that. You stepped into your inheritance. So expect unexpected money, crown chakra. Um, you're working with your crown chakra at this time. Work with your crown chakra at this time. 10, 10 on the clock as I say that. Work with your crown chakra at this time. Tap into it. Do some energy hitting towards it. The divine is trying to upgrade. I'm here. Upgrade and talk. Work through you through your crown chakra. So work with that crown chakra at this time. Lord Shiva, the same color is that too. So um, also cleanse your energy because you got the psychic good text. I gave y'all some pointers to do that. Also, you can sage Palo Santo frequently. Had incense burning. But you want to do the incense after you do the heavy work. So you'll sage and then you'll burn incense. So you'll Palo Santo and then you'll burn incense. And then you can also do those Ricky videos. Remember, risk relaxation, Ricky. Look up the remove negative energy playlist and look up the energetic protection playlist to close the energy in. Because not only do you want to release the energy, you want to protect so that it doesn't be able to come back in. So cleanse your energy at this time. You got water spirit coming through. Water spirit. Let me show one more time. You got a water spirit. Manifest in business. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. You got this inheritance coming in. Archangel Michael also bottom of the day. That's the last one I'm gonna call. So you're being heavily protected by Archangel Michael. You also got water spirit. You had a, I keep getting water spirit and I ain't been able to put my hands on it yet. But water spirit and manifest the same color blue. So and Archangel Michael is also, but I don't feel like he got nothing to do with this. Archangel Michael just blew in his own energy, that blue flame that he represents. But you got water spirit, so you could have a water spirit at this time that's trying to guide you and help you manifest or you are a water spirit uh mermaid siren merman whatever else the case may be you are connected to a water spirit that's trying to help you manifest or you are a water spirit that needs to start manifesting with this water energy by cleansing releasing energies and then flowing and letting things come to you. 12, 12 on the clock as I say that. But you got business coming in. So if you're working on a business that's coming in, expect unexpected money to your business. It's coming in and you're stepping into some type of inheritance. 2, 2, 2 on the clock as I say that. It could be your divine inheritance. It could be ancestral inheritance. It could be dharma inheritance, past life inheritance from things that you've done already. Whatever the case may be, but you're stepping into it. Which is freedom though. So I'm getting divine inheritance. You in your inheritance, you got a business, you work on that business, financial freedom, that's what you're trying to get. So expect unexpected money at this time. Let's dive into the next deck. Powerful message. You got Archangel Michael came out and Lord Shiva. So the God of Destruction is coming in. You're being psychically, energetically, and physically protected by Archangel Michael. What's the next deck, man? What's the next deck? I know I'm going to pull out my angel card. Cause I can't really read out the book for him, so we gonna just get any messages. Chakra, let's get the chakra wisdom card. I love these cards. I just got these not too long ago, and I really love them. Let's dive right into it and see what messages we get for the highest good and the harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. acceptance Ooh. and renewal instinct so follow your intuition at this time follow your instincts follow the guidance that your spirit guides and ancestors are giving you follow your instincts at this time but the main two cards we got are acceptance and renewal so it's time to accept some things so that you can finally go through this renewal 
let's get the book for these two cards so the first one we had is acceptance cherry heart when i accept myself i find love it's time to accept yourself that ties into their forgiveness it's time to find it's finally time to forgive and accept everything that you've been through up to this point so you can finally love yourself and walk into this new beginning when i accept myself i find love cherry loves her work as a wait waitress but feels that something is missing from her life she has a boyfriend Yet she senses that he is unfaithful. One day, a customer orders cherry pie. Cherry cuts a slice and says to a friend that her life is like that pie, with a slice missing. Her friend remarks that maybe cherry is a heart-shaped pie. Cherry's perspective changes. She leaves her boyfriend and later meets a man who makes her happy. A magical box of self-acceptance appears before you. Your unique qualities reside within. Open it. Are things simple now? Cherry Heart invites you to see yourself as complete, just as you are. So she was already complete. Just because another person come in, and this ain't even got to be somebody cheating on you or doing something negative, negative to you. But just because somebody come in and do something that's against you, that doesn't mean look down on yourself or feel less than yourself. That, that just mean that that person doesn't fully see you for who you is and think they finna be able to get over and you need to fully accept you and let them go on about their business. Family, friends, whatever the case may be. Five, five, five on the clock as I say that. Because you may be different. They might be stuck in religion and you don't do the religion thing anymore. And you just open to all religions. You get what I'm saying? And you accept that. If others can't accept you for what you do, the work you do, your business, is time to go on because they only going to stop you from getting that bag and doing what you need to do so you can make the life that you desire. The personal inquiry is, am I assessing myself accurately or am I distorting my reality in a self-defeating way? Can I simply accept myself? The key ideas are new ways of seeing yourself, embracing imperfection, Feeling incomplete, so you may feel incomplete, so you need to give yourself some forgiveness and acceptance so you can feel complete. Selling yourself short. The key words of this are manifesting knowledge and luck. So once you accept yourself fully, you will be able to manifest more. You can't manifest from a place of feeling like you don't have enough. You know, fully accepting all places and seeing what may be blocking you from fully accepting yourself and making it it be put in the right place because you need to manifest the next one is renewal geranium this is another beginning i told you you in a new beginning this is another beginning geranium's leaves shrivel and are stolen by the wind she is pried from her pot and is deeply saddened when she is thrown away but when she awakens, she is blooming once again. Now she lives in a large park, a former landfill site, surrounded by lush greenery. And her roots reach deeper than ever before, opening her to the possibilities of her new life. So if somebody throw you away and think you trash, it's only for you to go somewhere else and be renewed into a new person to shine how you meant to be because the universe is only aligning you and putting you places where you can fully blossom and be who you need to be because you always 808 on the clock as i say that you got cycles and seasons and it's always gonna be like that follow your instincts i keep looking at instincts so follow your instincts what appears to be a end may not be one after all this may turn into a remarkable opportunity trust that what it ever is coming is better than what you have ever known to this point the personal inquiry is, am I positive in the face of change or defeated? Am I ready to step into the new me? The key ideas are sourcing from a more beneficial place. Feeling in the dark, so in the void. You may be feeling like you're in a void, but you got to expect the unexpected right now because you're being aligned. Sourcing from a more beneficial place, so you being shifted into a more beneficial place you getting your sources from a more beneficial place uh feeling in the dark change in circumstances 906 on the clock as i say that and unexpected blessings so unexpected blessings are coming in 
So the keywords for this card are regeneration, so you're being regenerated, you're going through a new beginning, awakening, you're going through an awakening, and you also coming into fortune, inheritance, fortune. So that's what we got. Let's get into one more dick. I ain't gonna say one more dick to just cancel it out like that. Yeah, let's pull a couple of angels. Let's pull from the angel tarot. I gotta work with these more because they so they so in depth. So I don't want to get too confused. So and by me not getting confused, I'm finna work with them and just use my intuition because even the guidebook really don't tell you nothing. <laughs> It just give you pointers on what type of angel this is. So I'm going to go off of it and, and go off of what I know tarot to be. But they, 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 they pretty advanced. You got to know tarot and then you align it with what cards are coming out. So let's see what messages we get from the angels. For the highest good and harm with the most benevolent outcome. And these little babies with some incense smoke. 2020. 2020 vision. Time for you to fully see and use your instincts. 2020 vision. Let's dive right into it. Let's see the messages we get. We got Queen of Wands, the hidden God. Divine power guards against mental trouble troubles. So there's psychic attacks. I'm getting you being guarded against mental troubles, guarded against psychic attacks, and you stepping into divine power. The Queen of Wands is also about that feminine creative power, uh, you know, the dominion, taking control in a, you know, in a powerful way. It, with sacred energy, you know, the Wands are all about creation, spirit. So, yeah, most definitely tapping into that feminine divine power. Uh, born with the flow. Uh, accepting, receiving Queen of Wands energies, but also holding your post in that Queen energy, divine power. You could be a man or a man, I mean a man or a female. It's just all about the, the feminine energies of being able to accept and going with the flow and letting things happen. Uh, we got Five of Cups. So you know, Five of Cups, all about uh, despair. Uh, dying away with the things you once love, but this card, <laughs> this is crazy. This card says Five of Cups, Viol, Violia, Violia, God, King, and Ruler. That's powerful. God, King, and Ruler. That's what this angel names mean. Name means God, King, and Ruler. So this card says prosperity. So you are prospering. You going up. You are advancing, ascending. And it also says destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage. So you're being guarded against mental trouble, psychic attacks. Ran out of space, but this is, I hope this is the final time. But the enemy, the destruction of the enemy is upon him. So your enemy, anybody that came against you, that's why they psychic attacking you so bad because they, A, they kind of need help, and B, they just, they had the last thing because God is handling them. That's why you got to forgive and let God do his thing because right now your enemy is being destroyed and you are being released from all bondage. You are gaining your freedom, your independence. You are a runaway slave. You are deliverance from bondage. 33 on the clock as I say that. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. But you, you're in a time of prosperity. Five of Cups traditionally that means despair you dying away with the things that you once loved but in this card it's saying prosperity the destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage so that ties heavily into this into this reading because you also got divine power which was the first card divine power and guards against mental troubles which is psychic attacks or your own mental troubles but you being guarded against them and you stepping into divine power and prosperity 111 on the clock as i said leadership energy Four of Cups, and the final one would be the Three of Wands. So we got the Four of Cups. Traditionally, the Four of Cups. Uh, traditionally, the Four of Cups would be. Yeah, missing opportunities for abundance, a time to meditate. Crying over spilled milk once again. That's that. But this time. 
is basically you having an opportunity in your face, but you're not seeing it. The Five of Cups will be more of you grieving, you disappointed, self pity, all those type of energies. But you know, um, uh, in this card, the Four of Cups means. The God deflecting evil. So all evil is being deflected from you at this time. You got healing capacity. So that's what the card says. Healing capacity. So you have the capacity to heal. You have divine power. So this divine power could be the healing capacity to be able to heal others. But not only heal others and not just heal others. But first and foremost heal yourself. So you being blessed with divine power at this time to heal yourself and then heal others. You also being protected it also means protection from weapons and safety in travel. So you are, when the reader first started, you had an airplane go over. So you're being protected as you travel and you're also being protected from weapons. Weapons are the enemies throughout any type of way. It might be a weapon, uh, witchcraft, uh, energy weapons, pistol, whatever the case may be, you're being protected from it. And the final one is the three of wands. Sitael. The God of Hope. This one says the construction of the universe. Help with great work. So you're being helped with great works at this time. Business, the work that you put out into the world, your artistry, whatever the case may be. And protection from adversaries. So you got four cards. Four protection. You know, for the energy, the protection, stability. Four sides to a house. Three of Wands that close it off and confirm you're helping in the I mean you're being helped with the construction of your universe because we stay in one universe but we all got our own little universes in reality so you're being helped with building your universe and you also being helped with your great works which is, could be healing or business whatever the case may be you being helped with it. It could be artistry too. Whatever the case may be. I keep saying whatever the case may be because this is a general message. I don't know what you do. So I'm trying to give you a description so you can understand it's pretty much for anyone. It's just letting you know whatever you do, you're being helped with it. And the final thing that it said is protection from adversaries. So you're being divinely protected from adversary. At this time you had our angel Michael come out to protect the angel. Uh, and four times and in four different cars and four different ways is letting you know how you're being guarded and protected. You're being protected from weapons witchcraft energy weapons whatever other weapons uh your enemy being destroyed and you being delivered from bondage so anything that's trying to hold you back being cut away from you and anyone that intentionally is trying to harm you being destroyed you also have right here guards against mental trouble so you're being protected against psychic attacks what this reading was all about and the final one protection from adversaries so things that try to come against you, you are being protected from at this time. So you just need to do what you need to do. Let's dive out of one final deck, which will be my Light Seals Tarot to close it off for the highest good and harm none with the most benevolent outcomes. Yeah, you being renewed. And the people that came against you are being destroyed. So hopefully this read really helps you. you. You do the work that you need to do so you can finally close off all of this and get out of this type of energy because you already protected from it. But you may be open to it because God is trying to show you where you need to do a little work. And a couple of things or just one or two things you can pick up from that is cleansing your energy, doing that Ricky I was telling you about, and forgiveness of yourself. Because if you don't forgive yourself or hop into the energy of forgiveness, it may leave you open because... You know, you're already attacking yourself because you ain't even forgiving yourself. Five, five, five on the clock as I say that. So you're going through changes. Oh, definitely a change today. What we got? King of Cups. Keep presenting yourself. You have the Three of Cups, the King of Cups. What this is? King of Swords. Two Kings and the Two of Pentacles. So everything coming into balance, you coming into balance with your spiritual life, physical life, you're getting the things that you need in the physical reality so you can burn your spiritual life, the downloads down into the reality. You know, that's all two of Pentacles is all about. You balancing different things. You're doing different things, but you're able to keep the balance. Not juggling too much at once, but able to keep the balance. Overall, you're coming into balance with able to do the things that you dream about and bringing them into the physical reality. The other cards we had was the Three of Cups, 
you see that community of people looking up at the stars but i'm getting the energy of you coming into connection with the universe your spirit team soul family to be able to help you bring about what you're trying to bring about dreams destiny goals desires so work with your spirit team at this time to not only protect you but help you do what you need to do the next two cards is the king of cups and the king of swords so this is this is an emotionally mature, balanced, and authoritative person and mentally person. So stepping into a, you having the boundaries, the wisdom, and the things that you need. We got a crow or a raven right here. We got an owl right there. A lot of bird spirits. So you're keeping your mental sharp. You stand on top of your mental. That's that psychic attack. But you're keeping your psyche, your psyche on point. You using the, the wisdom that you gain, the knowledge, and the energies that the universe blessing you with and staying on point mentally and also emotionally because your emotions and your your emotions and your mental tie together so if you think about it too long and it stays there then it starts to steep into your emotions and negatively affecting them so if you're on top of your mental now you're on top of your emotions and you're keeping them balanced and you're being very mature and you know how to react you know how not when to react and you know how to act because you're on top of your emotions and now you're on top of your mental and it's bringing everything into the balance. So not only is this you coming into balance with your physical, material life, and spiritual life. This bringing that mental and emotions into balance. So you can always know what's yours and what's not yours. Or what's barbating you. What's negatively affecting you. Or what's not supposed to be in your emotional or mental field. But work with spirit at this time. Because they mainly helping you to put you in this position. So you can do what you need to do out in the world. Because you can't do what you need to do if your mind and your emotions are unbalanced. So I hope this resonated. That was a lot in that reading. So yeah. It's time to emotionally and mentally balance. So that you can go about doing the things that you truly desire out into the world. Because yeah, it's been a long journey. And it's not easy because you're doing something that nobody around you doing. That's why they psychically attacking you. But you got to keep keeping your mind sharp and your emotions strong and have faith and know that you will be able to do this and step into this inheritance. Because I can't say you step into your dream because it was destined for you to do this. You got that North Star and North Node energy. So I hope this resonated. If you like a book of personal message, you can email me at insomniadreams, A-L-C at gmail.com. My, my readings and my email. If you email me, my readings are on confirmation my readings are on sale for 22 dollars if you email me on my website that's a different story that's a different story but my website is insomniacdreams369.com so tap in support your boy other than that have a blessed abundant timeline